you know, I was thinking of getting a PS5. Because maybe I'll do some streaming on it for PS5. Maybe it'll come out as a good game. I haven't played console in a minute. I just bought one for my nephews. And I was like, you know what? I got an old 360. Maybe it's time to up, maybe it's time to upgrade. So taking a look at Godfall. Godfall is like a hack and slash. Uh, I'm not sure if they have like a looter in this game. I was taking a look at it. It looks more like they have kind of like different armor sets that you you find and upgrade to. We're gonna take a look at some of the gameplay here. It doesn't it doesn't actually look that bad. I know some people were feeling some type of way about the gameplay, but it kind of is what it is. It doesn't look half bad. Let's take a look at it. This is Godfall. Welcome to Godfall. Combat Overview. Hello, my name is Keith Lee, and I am the game director for Godfall. On behalf of Counterplay Games, we are very excited to share gameplay with you today. This is an HD, right? offer you a glimpse into the mystical world of Godfall. I just see, like, right off the bat, it looks kind of grainy. It just Today, might be the video. You'll be seeing extensive gameplay. It, it just might be the video. PlayStation 5 development kit. Please keep in mind that the game is still a work in progress. I can, Some I can tell. Some change from the final product as we continue to learn and harness the power of Sony's next generation console. Please enjoy. So let's jump right into what Godfall is. Godfall is a looter slasher that features intense action satisfying moment-to-moment -moment combat and robust loot progression systems okay so they do you have can a enjoy loot. the game at your own pace playing alone or through online co-op with up to two additional teammates godfall is set in a brand new high fantasy universe filled with heroic knights arcane magic and forbidden realms the world is split up into the elemental realms of earth water air and fire God okay so ain't ain't nothing too new here i do like that you can if you want to play with the homies you can which is always good which is always it's always good i wonder if they're gonna have pvp i wonder if they're gonna introduce pvp into this game Godfall is a complete package all loot and gear in the game are acquired like that. or unlocked through gameplay there i like the no flash microtransactions no waiting for <laughs> no microtransactions content it's all in the game on day one on day one as you adventure you'll get to tear through enemies to challenge a mad god who awaits you at the top you play a valorian knight a that looks beautiful warrior able to equip valor plates legendary armor sets that transform you into an unstoppable master of melee combat. Hey, see that's what i was talking about they got like all kind of like all these different sets that you can kind of upgrade to i would say at least from some of those some of those screenshots look really nice uh, i don't know if it's like next gen not exactly amazing but i mean in a game like this typically what i'm looking for is more the combat and a decent storyline and, and can i get some replay value have to wait and see if that's actually what it comes out with in these type of games the hack and slash is, isn't all that great i mean you're just eat, killing endless waves and waves of minions but at least give me a good story throughout your journey you'll find ancient valor plates lost in time each with their own characteristics and long history now let's talk about gameplay in godfall first our team wanted to do something different. We wanted to combine action RPG loot progression with third person melee combat to create what we think I is like a that. slasher. That looks good. I like the abilities. Our game is therefore one part gear driven and one part player skill driven. In other words, not only do we want you to find exquisite weapons with powerful loot traits, but we also want you to have that feeling of accomplishment for mastering the wide set of combat mechanics available to you in Godfall. From a combat philosophy perspective, the melee combat in Godfall is intended to be fluid, dynamic, and interactive, embracing offense over defense. More often than not, you'll be facing multiple enemies at the same time. As a result, you should always be moving and closing the gap on enemies. Also, you dominate the combat space, not the enemy. So one thing I one thing I kind of didn't like 
Um, if you notice, like whenever whenever he attacks, you'll see More awesome. you see how like the the mobs kind of get stuttered back. In games like this, unless there's like a mechanic where like you you can stutter a mob, but then then that stutter and you know mechanic goes like on some sort of a cooldown. The problem is, is that in other games that have that exact same thing is you just keep on just you just literally smashing you know whatever your left mouse click or you're smashing the keybind uh, and you're just stuttering the mob over and over and over and over again and the mob doesn't do anything and then it just falls over and die. And I would say if they're gonna have that as a mechanic, then it should be like a mechanic that you have to like utilize like like maybe in a combo like you combo someone and then you stutter the person back to go in for like a killing blow or something. Um, but not like as a steady mechanic where every time I slash, you know, the character just sits there and they just keep on doing this over and over and over again. That gets old real quick because it just diminishes the value of the combat. And then not, you'll be facing multiple enemies at the same time. As a result, you should always be moving and closing the gap on enemies. Also, you dominate the combat space, not the enemies, and the game rewards you for being aggressive. So you see like how the mob didn't now move? Now that you're familiar with the combat philosophy, That's what let's I'm talking dig about. into the weapons themselves. In Godfall, there are five weapon classes. The longsword, the dual blades. I like the variety. The polearm. The polearm looks nice. The two-handed warhammer. That mace is sweet. And the two There's always something about a <clears throat> big ass mace. Just coming to Molly Each Wop somebody. Class has their own sword and shield. Sets and play styles ranging from fast combos to more strategic, deliberate play. As you defeat enemies in your adventures, you will acquire numerous weapons. For each weapon category, each weapon with their own primary and secondary traits. All right. At a later date, we will delve into the weapon classes and how to modify them in greater detail. So For I think now we'll go over the dual blades. I think that's a really good, it kind of gives you like a progression, a progression system, not just within the loot, but then you also have like the combos that you can upgrade, um, the different weapons that you can upgrade. And then he had, they said there's primary and secondary um, systems related to the weapons. And that kind of gives you like throughout the whole game, you've got different sort of uh, systems where you can progress through, which is great. Stuff I like to see. Sword weapon classes. The dual blades are the fastest weapon class in Godfall, embodying speed, fluidity, and mobility. The dual blades are exceptional against soft, unarmored targets or single targets. Well, you see, that's what I'm talking about where... You can perform a combo by executing four consecutive light attacks. You see how the mobs just keep getting stuttered over and over and over again? The attack is a spinning blade cyclone. The blade cyclone can also be used as a finisher that's what, right, like right there, at the like end the, of your light just attack Just get like combo. triple CC'd. So what are the signature moves for the dual blades? As you build up charge, you can also activate inner focus, which is unique to the dual blades, which inflicts massive damage in a short period of time. There's also mortal coil, where you can throw your blade into like an that. enemy, pulling the enemy towards you, like pulling a cable. See, I think all that, that's all, that's all fantastic, but there should now be cooldowns. let's cool switch downs. to the longsword weapon class. You gotta have cooldowns on Long CCs. Longswords are balanced weapons, embodying crisp damage and simple cooldowns without needing a lot of elaborate combo setups. Similar to dual blades, longswords have their own four-hit light attack combo. Then there's the heavy attack finisher, which can be used at the end of your light attack combo. There are three signature moves for the Longsword class. There's Spectral Flurry, which oh, cannot be interrupted awesome. and deals high damage to multiple nearby targets. Then there's Spiral Technique, which eviscerates all enemies in a straight fixed path. I love that they have abilities. Notice there's a white flash after a Longsword swing called a Timing Attack. If you press the shield button exactly at the same time, you'll perform a devastating shield uppercut with your Longsword. That looks, that looks awesome. The shield is a core part of Godfall. It's available to you throughout the entire game. You can always block incoming attacks with your shield. If you press the shield button at the right time, you can also parry an attack. You can perform a light attack after a last second shield block to counter attack with a powerful shield strike. The shield I like the animations. Is great not just for defense, but also offense. The shield throw looks cool. Throw your shield, which will hit multiple nearby targets. 
If you tap the shield button just as you catch your shield, you can perform a powerful wave attack. You can double tap the shield button to petrify enemies. And of course, you can perform an R3 ground finisher on enemies <laughs> that were not oh, that, down that, to that, the look, that look good. I like that. Just like, mmm, all in his face. It's a boss battle. Ooh, coming out here to tear that ass up. Look at that mace. Look at that armor. Look at that mace. That animation is very slow. They should have made it. Looks like they got health globes or something on the floor. Like you can see there's more like globes on the floor in the back. Like this one there. And he picks up. We hope you enjoyed our first walkthrough video of Godfall running on the PlayStation 5. And it actually, I would say it actually looked okay. It wasn't too bad. I would say, again, with the stutter mechanic, I am not a fan of stutter mechanics. I've played other like single player RPGs where either you can get just get stunned over and over and over again. Like if you're facing too many mobs and they just non-stop stutter you your character just sits there doing this and you lose control but then on the flip side you can actually you can do the exact same thing on the other end where you can just sit there and stutter mobs over and over and over again just literally just tapping your your left mouse button it becomes the combat becomes really boring i do think it was really nice that they have not just you know obviously you have like different combos that you'll do with weapons but then you've also got also have abilities you've got counter attacks they're like these timed mechanics that i thought were really interesting in terms of next gen graphics, it looks okay. It's not, I mean, it looks, some parts will look really good. It just, it feels like just looking at this, it's like a little hazy. Might be maybe too much, uh, too much glow or whatever it is that makes everything kind of have that, that hazy look. Like it's like, you know, all that mist that arises in the morning and you get the sun beaming through and it's just like, just do go away. Like you don't need that shit. Um, I think the combat, the combat was really good. One thing I really liked was the combat was seemed very, very fluid. But in a game like this, it says it's a looter, but they didn't go into any sort of discussion about the loot. And then, of course, for me, on something like this, I want replay value. So, I, you know, they don't really go into like, why would I want to play this game again? Like you spend, you know, $60 or you buy like whatever package for it. You spend 60, 80, 100 bucks. But it's like you play the game for like two, three weeks, maybe a month, and then it's over. And it's just like, well, what what, what, ha what's, what happens after that? I would love to see some, some more information. It looks okay. Not fantastic. It's probably something I'd buy like on sale, you know. After the hype is over, I'd probably probably like pick it up like half price or sixty, you know, forty percent off or whatnot. In terms of displaying next gen, I mean, unless as you're just talking about the movements and the fluidity, I'm not sure because I don't play P. I haven't played really a lot of PS4, um, but it's nothing like nothing fantastic, nothing fantastic. But it looks it looks okay. I would say it looks okay. I would want to see the storyline behind this. If you if you give me a really good storyline, people love you know endless streams of loot. Um, I, I think that would make it good. And if it actually had maybe some sort of like competitiveness to it, if they put in like PvP where it's just kind of like that one v one sort of uh, deathmatch sort of thing, that would that would be that would make it really interesting. That would give you a lot of replay value because then you've got the different weapon types and skill lines and kind of classes, you know, that people can kind of main in the game. And then that gives the game a lot of replay value. Cause then you want, cause you know, at the end of the day, you still want to get your money's worth.